Thank you so what is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to tech current youtube channel you already know that redmi note 9 pro users are not getting the MIUI 12.5 beta updates like redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 s redmi note 9 pro max and poco m2 pro all the devices are not getting MIUI 12.5 beta updates they will get the stable one but right now beta updates are coming and if you want to install those beta updates you can install a ported room which is now ported by Sudeep. We have the latest EU port room based on MIUI 12.5, 21.1.20. I have a China beta review on this. So all those features are quite great and working fine. I'm gonna share with you some little bit of things about this build. And also I got a bug, which I'm gonna share with you. So let's get started. Guys, this one is based on Android version 10 as you can see with the latest security patch of 1st of January 2021. This one is a ported ROM and can be installed on all the mutual devices Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, Redmi Note 9 Pro and Poco M2 Pro. All of these devices are supported for this build. It's based on Android version 10. So no issues there. You need a compatible vendor and ROM file and both of the links are in the description. In my case, I've installed it on my Redmi Note 9 Pro and I didn't got any kind of issues and yes, the smoothness is quite great. One thing which I've noticed so far is in the latest in the latest MIUI 12.521.1.20, I got the thing which I noticed in my Redmi Note 8 that the brightness slider was upward there, but in this, the brightness slider is still down. I think so maybe because of this one is Android version 10 update in Redmi Note 8 I got the Android version 11 update so this might be the thing but other things are quite good and same here. The smoothness is quite good I am using for some time and the app opening, app closing, the multitasking everything seems to be quite good here. I didn't got any kind of major issues after using this build on my device. The thing is if you go for the settings and if you go for the wallpaper and personalization the new menu which you already got to know that in MIUI 12.5 you get this. If you open this wallpaper section, you have many super wallpapers options available. We can simply click on more and you'll see all those super wallpapers which are present and are working really fine. I tried to use the latest Noe Peaks here, which was working fine. I didn't got any kind of issues. Let me show you that how it is looking like. You can simply go and enable this by clicking on apply. You can also turn on the always on display and yes, always on display is working fine too. So you can simply click on or you can turn on the always on display, which is working fine. Let me apply and it's applied successfully. And with this, the always on display is applied, is turned on as you can see. So let me show you that how this is working and this is working fine. As you can see, this is now applied successfully. Now we have this always on display and this is looking really, really great. You already got to know that this is looking really great. This one is always on display. This is how it is looking like. It's great. You can use it on your device. Of course, it's not recommended. And as you can see, the super wallpaper looks quite good. But of course, it's not recommended. The always on display is not recommended for you because of this LCD display. And also it is a lot or it has a lot of things like the battery drainage and all kinds of things. Other things are same here as this is the Xiaomi EU room. So yes, all those features from Xiaomi EU are present here in this latest build. We have the new kind of power menu as expectedly it's available here. New kind of volume panel which has those features as you can see I have a video on this one too. You can go and check it out. All those things are working and working fine. I didn't got any major issues available here and there. If you go for the notifications and control center, control center style and yes it's good. You can simply switch between the control center side and if you go for the notification effect this is quite good. This is I personally liked a lot. This one is the effect which I liked a lot and you can also use this if you want want to all these things are quite great and nothing to talk about here let me show you the camera ui which i got to notice in this build the camera ui is quite good if you go here we have some cool features like the pro color is one of my favorite one with the movie frame all these features are quite good and working fine if you go for the more section here we have a very beautiful kind of a ui in this camera so all these things are quite good and quite amazing yes this one is 48 megapixel and i think so i just got to know that some devices have the 64 megapixel i think so there's a fix available i have not tried it and i'm not sure if it is working or not but yes i saw somewhere so you can try it if you can try finding out that if you if you find that it's good for you other things are same here nothing to talk about these are the things i just want to let you know let me share with you a bug which i noticed in my device 
If I open the developer options, if I go for this option called USB debugging, it's not working for me. And let me show you what happens after if I enable this USB debugging from here. It just, it just restart my device, reboot my device. If I click here like this one, like this, click on OK. It's stuck here and it will do like this two or three times and like this and after that it will reboot my device. So this is a kind of a bug for me as you can see. It's just rebooted, auto rebooted. So USB debugging and not is not working. Maybe I did a clean flash also, but still if it is not working, not sure, but you can give it a try. If it is working for you, it's good. And if it is not working for you, you need to the, keep these things in your mind. All the things I just wanted to share with you, I already shared with you. The links are in the description. This is all. Thanks for watching and goodbye.